And now, back to David Spada and Elliot Harris for more sports and torts on TalkZone.com. Elliot, for those who are worried you weren't bringing any lovely ladies today, you brought not one, not two, but three. We have a, a triple play of sorts. Chicago Bandits player Tammy Williams, shortstop. Outfield, third baseman, you've named the position, she'll play it, Amber Patton. And center fielder, Caitlin Lever. 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 <laughs> you were thinking so of the soul. You were so close. Yeah. Look at you. Two out of three? You know, that'd get, get me in the Hall of Fame, yeah. wouldn't it? Exactly. Yes. If you hit 666, you're worth millions. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I don't, and I'm not. Members of the Chicago Bandits who just won the National Pro Fast Pitch Championship against the USSA Pride, something like that. One S, I say. We've got to get my S in gear? One S, sure. Uh, okay. One S, close. At least you didn't say the USS Minnow. No. <laughs> <laughs> But you played a team that early in the season well, you handled okay. You started off playing them at uh, in Orlando at Disney World or something. Mm-hmm. That was on TV, saw that competitive series. They came earlier in the season here and you handled them. Last home series, and they, if you'll pardon the expression, kicked your uh, posteriors. <laughs> is, that, is that a fairly accurate description? Derriere? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then you go down to God knows where, Sulphur in Louisiana, and you take two games and boom, you're champions. How'd that happen? You know, I think that our team showed up to play. The feeling that we had Tuesday when we showed up was completely different than kind of what we had the whole season. We knew why we were there, and that was to win a championship. And... Uh, you went up first against Cat Osterman, right? Mm-hmm. Who, primo pitcher, and, and you took care of that. And then a- after that victory, what do you say to yourself? Well, you're in the driver's seat at that point. You know, you're just looking to go out and get that next win. I mean, we definitely didn't want to have to play two games on Sunday. It was a hot day, and, you know, we had Monica, our ace, on the mound, and she was tired. She threw, hum- she threw all but three innings, I think, of Right. Each game Monica down there. Abbott. So, you know, she was fatigued. Her catcher was tired. We were all pretty tired. It's real hot, humid, you know, whatever. So we knew we wanted to get that first game, and it was critical to us winning. And we just did. Offense came alive. And then the second game, you go up against a pitcher who pretty much had shut you down in that last home series in Rosemont. And anything go through your mind? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, Polly is a phenomenal pitcher, so hats off to her, and she's – shut us down all season long actually and um, I think the key was Cat Osterman got hurt in that first game and no matter who it is as long as it's not Cat Osterman in that last game <laughs> it makes you lick, lick your lips and get you know just a little more excited and it makes it seem a lot more easier when it's you're not facing yeah. the big ace and all of a sudden you're up five nothing and you go okay yeah takes a little bit of pressure off yeah. everyone just a, just a little <laughs> it was a lot of fun it's always a good day when you have to face Cat so when it was all said and done was Monica Abbott's left arm still attached at the shoulder or not? Somewhat. I think Somewhat. I called her yesterday. It's still <laughs> still hanging there. Yeah. Dangling. Yep. Dangling. Yep. The last mm-hmm. time we saw you, Caitlin, was the game where Zan Browns was throughout the first pitch, and there was a lot of controversy because he had a little problem pitching that day. Yeah. Well, uh, we got the good luck end of that. He ended up getting the bad luck, but it's okay. He took one for the team. And you know who made the prediction you get a home run that game? Did you now? I did. I said you're going to hit a home run that game, and you did it. Yeah, see? And you said you shall receive. That's what it's all about. No one <laughs> asked me after that. Because <laughs> you said you're a speed player, right? You're not a power yeah, hitter. Yeah, I try to put it on the ground and run out. What about you, Amber and Tammy? Are either you power hitters, you're more speed, or you do it all? I'm more of a speed. I'm a slobber. She so. does it all. She I'm does it all, yeah. Tammy. They both yeah. do it all. Yeah. <laughs> Caitlin's fooling you. Yeah. Yep. Caitlin's fooling. She does. She's fast. Oh. You know, every, I think at this league, everyone can, you have to kind of be able to do it all to be here. And mm-hmm. you have to be able to hit for power. You have to be able to run because this game is so fast. You are you can't keep up if you're not, especially outfielders and middle infielders. It's just reality of it. You got to be quick. You got to mm-hmm. be able to move. Right. As a, a defensive player, you don't have time to think. Mm-hmm. You, you have to have figured out th- if the ball's coming to me beforehand, where that's going to go because... The girls are going around the bases like whirling dervishes and all that stuff. Now, these games were on ESPN, too. 
Did you hear from people around the country who watched it and saw you and the, all that good stuff? You know, I think it's getting better. Um, but compared to our first game that was on ESPN in that first series, uh, the response was overwhelming from all, you know, even me in Canada. Uh, so I think we're getting closer, you know, every step. And I think that replay on Monday night was huge. And I know all of our emails blew up after that. So yeah. it, it's a start. I know we're not, we're nowhere near MLB, but um, it's a slow step for us and it's a positive step. We need to expand and get on television and step one. Okay, and your step. fans in Canada can understand American English, is that? A little bit, a little <laughs> bit. For the you most know. part? Yeah, no, they have to put the subtitles okay. on the bottom, but they're real good at reading. You don't sing two national anthems for your games like they do when they play yeah, Canadian just, teams. Just in my head. In my head <laughs> yeah. On Canada Day. Yeah, we they did, did yeah. on Canada Day. Got Give her a shout out. I used to hate those Expo games being a Cubs season tickle because I had to sit through two national anthems. Oh, Maybe I'm you. unpatriotic. <laughs> <laughs> it must Dave. have been so stressful. Poor Dave. Let's yeah. get the game going. <laughs> okay. So this season, uh, National Pro Fast Pitch had four teams, which almost doesn't make it a league. Any chance that there will be expansion in the future? They're definitely talking about it. Mm -hmm. We have been playing all over the country this year. We had a traveling team where you would play, they would play in a random city every week, which was awesome because so many new fans got to see. And so they're trying to expand that way and hopefully get a couple more teams in those places next year. And really, I mean, we have enough amazing players in the league to kind of spread it out along with the seniors coming out of college. We can make it happen. It's just a matter of money and people getting the support behind us at this point. Well, and to find somebody like the city of Rosemont, Illinois, which will build you a stadium. Oh, yeah. And th that was definitely a case of if you build it, they will come because you guys had pretty good crowds for your home games. Mm -hmm. yeah. And hopefully it'll grow from here. I mean, our new stadium, Rosemont has been amazing to us. Like, they have treated us so well. And it's just been a big buzz around the league. You know how we got the first stadium for, you know, pro fast pitch. You know, it's a place that we can call home. It's We're the first team that's had a home stadium built for them. And... It's been amazing to be a part of it, and hopefully, you know, more teams will start coming out of the woodworks, and more owners start buying teams, and yeah. good to go from there. I know when Jessica Mendoza, who plays for the Pride, played at the Rosemont Stadium the first time, you know, she said, "That's what their team needs." Mm -hmm. You know, a, a softball-only stadium and uh, imp an impressive uh, structure like that. Mm -hmm. It's incredible because Mayor Stevens completely supported us and did all of that for us and it's the actually the first stadium that's ever been built for a women's yep. sport not just softball but for any women's, women's sport. professional so that's i mean incredible and awesome to be a part of well and the city of rosemont gets to use it for more than just bandits mm -hmm. games too mm -hmm. are they turning the ice skating rink in the winter or because i know they had the ice skating last winter over right off the express from the other side which makes sense. But it, I thought that was just the city streets. No, they <laughs> <laughs> mentions might be a little off. In yeah. Balls. <laughs> yeah. But again, I mean, what I don't get is Major League Baseball. You got the NBA supports the women's league. Why does the Major League Baseball start supporting your league and subsidize it? They are. They're, they're, we're starting to get them on board. There's, you know, it's just baby steps. I mean, we got to prove that we're legitimate first before a powerhouse like the MLB wants to get on board. They're seeing us. They're recognizing us. And I think it's something to look forward to. I think it's in the in the works right now. No, you guys could take that money out of Bud Selig's eighteen million dollar a year salary. You know, just take a, a few hundred thousand. And he, he'd never notice. <laughs> All right, we'll get on an email yeah, on that. Yeah. We'll email him. Let yeah. him know. You can tell him David Spada sent you. So you don't have to do any side jobs. You could do baseball full time and earn a decent living. That's why we're amazing. here. Mm -hmm. Pave the way for that for the future. Yeah. Unless they cast you three in the new Charlie's Angels series. Ellie could be Charlie. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a great idea. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We so, were, so we got the redhead, which was like Tanya Roberts. The blonde will make you, yeah. you're not fair, uh, Cheryl Ladd. Okay, yeah. And then we will make you Jacqueline Smith. All right, perfect. Perfect. Yeah, we're on our way there after this. <laughs> this was, you know, you want to be Charlie or Bosley? I'll be Charlie. You can be Bosley. How's that? I don't think girls want that. I well, think he's they'll, have they'll have there, no we've choice. We've already seen your face. We need something that's just in the machine. Yeah, just, just you know? in the machine. Yeah, which You've I already get. ruined the mystery here. But I don't get is Robert Wagner turning that down. He's too busy. He's in his late seventies. What else he have to do? Count his money. I don't know. <laughs> Remember to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> that might be always funny. important, folks. <laughs> All of those listening there, remember to breathe. So did Sam Brano give any tips before that game when uh, he came and threw out the first pitch? 
Uh, he just he just lightened the bench up. Mm-hmm. He, he, was he was. How do you lighten the bench up? The guy weighs three hundred pounds. We had a Pumba <laughs> like co- we were having a costume party that night for Disney. It sounds ridiculous, but we had a Pumba hat on, and he put it on, and we all took pictures around him with a Pumba head on. Like never expected him to do that. So I mean, he just lightened the load. And he just made us play loose. So it was nice to have him have him around. So now that the season's over, you guys have to find employment. Is that how this works? <laughs> Real, well, real jobs in the real world? I think that a lot of, every, basically everyone on our team stays in softball in mm-hmm. some way. We have tons of girls going back for their master's or finishing you their... Get a, you can get a master's in softball? You can. It's mm-hmm. impressive. Yeah. <laughs> Most schools offer it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> mean curveball. Is, De- is it a DePaul degree? Right. Yeah, de- whoa, 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 easy, whoa, easy, whoa, easy. I went to whoa, Loyola, whoa. so... Hey, no, no. It's, that's a Northwestern degree. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a good one. Yeah. Or Georgia Tech. Yeah. Oh, man. Softball engineering. <laughs> but a lot of girls do clinics and lessons mm-hmm. throughout the year. That's what us three are trying to do as well. So um, just kind of stick around the area and promote the bandits while giving lessons and doing clinics, I would say. Or working at a financial firm. Or she, Yeah, she works for a financial firm. Oh, she has firm. a legitimate job. Yeah, she's the real Ish. one. <laughs> Give me your money, people. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should be able to tap into your money, people, to, uh, to buy a franchise here or there. Yeah. Know. Or sponsor They're the bad. show. <laughs> or the bandits. Or the bandits. Or we both. Okay. I'll tell you what, my kids, I brought into the game the three girls. They all wanted t shirts and they wear those shirts all the time. That's yes. great. We I, love lo- that. I just love that logo. Heck yeah. Even though Caitlin won't get I want an orange jersey, Caitlin. Yes. We need to get you an orange all right. jersey. I want an orange jersey. Okay. Because okay. I got my championship tomorrow for softball. Last time you were here, I struck out three times. This is slow. We're talking <laughs> slow <laughs> pitch softball. This isn't going up this against cool. Monica Abbott. A Abbott lot of change-ups awesome. coming at you, you know? So then what ends up happening, they put me a catcher. I hate catcher. So we have a girl pitch. Don't female. they give you a chair to sit on? No, I'm sitting here playing catcher. They said, we want you a catcher because you're active. So I'm like, okay, if they had three plays at home plate, every game I've been back there, tagging people out. So last game, I had a swinging Bunt, it looked like a bunt. Swan. What? A swan. 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 Nobody can defend it. No one can defend it. Nobody. I hit this ball a foot. I beat it out. So then the last inning, I'm up with one out first and second. The third baseman, she is between third and home plate. She's right on top of me because she doesn't think I could hit the ball. I go, I'm going to kill this girl. Line drive, the left center driving two runs, and I started laughing. I'm going, okay, I don't want to kill the girl, but a swant. So how do you do the swant? Is it accident? You can actually. You know, you, your I coach usually gives here. you the call for it, yeah. and you <laughs> swing as hard as you can, and you know it's going to be a bunt. But it's going to um, be a big swing. Yeah, it's going to be a big, <laughs> big swing, swing, and then it just Out of it's un- you can't defend it. And just then you just, you just want to hit a fraction of the just ball. Just the very right? top of the ball. Yeah, just, just the <laughs> like tiny, a yeah, just a little <laughs> piece of red. Yeah. David practices ball. more than really he lets on. But yes. it's, it's easy to do when your catcher can't throw the ball. The catcher, she couldn't throw it, and the pitcher is 70 years old. <laughs> so I didn't have to worry. Perfect. Just Strategic. <laughs> what, what, what sort of league do you play in? It's a co-ed league in Wakanda. Our That's neighbor. a retirement home. Yeah. Slow pitch league. <laughs> That's, That's mean. Play. You play in an over 90 league or something? <laughs> I've, the average age in our team is about 40, but on the other team, there was a seven-year-old who's been playing for years, and they dragged me in, and they go, I, I haven't played in 20 years. So I started playing. They put me a catcher. I hate catcher. So I'm sitting back there, and I'm Do talking. you get to put on a mask? No mask, but you get to talk trash back there. Yeah. And I'm well, you're, you're, a a lawyer. Lawyer. you're a lawyer. You're good no, at that. No, you really need a confidence boost, huh? <laughs> no, the, four, the oldest guy, 70 average, is 40, so you're talking trash. I mean, not the ones who don't play that well, but some of the guys are. You're not going to hit this ball. And they're swinging, striking out. We're getting the ump almost threw out her shortstop because he argued a call. They're wearing spikes, and they want me to wear spikes. I said, I'm not wearing Wait spikes. Wait a sec. Spikes for co-ed softball? Spikes for Slow co-ed. Pitch. For Slow pitch. Pitch. <laughs> it's 14-inch mush It's dangerous spot. out there, I hear. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Yeah. Serious. Do you at least have the ability to hand out your business card to every batter that comes to the plate? <laughs> I should have done that. Like, yeah, okay. Yeah, there you go. So when you, they get injured, idea. they can hire me for their workers' comp cases, and then if they need financial uh, advice, they can ask Caitlin. Yeah, I'll give you a stack of my cards. Yeah, the combo go. package here. Sounds Maybe like we can give you some softball lessons. It sounds like you might, yeah. <laughs> might need them. I need a ringer for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> we need a pitcher. Our pitcher's a little tired because it might be a doubleheader because if we win the first game, the second game's for the championship. So you're uh-huh. telling that we need to fly in Monica? <laughs> fly in Monica? Or... We'll see if she's ready. I don't know. She could probably pitch right-handed. We'll see. Or what about okay. Jenny Finch? Or she's got the bun in the oven. No, no, no. no, no. Baby. Out of the yeah, oven. Out. She's got yeah. two. Healthy baby boy. She's adorable. Yeah. Very cute. He's Is she coming out of retirement next year? Uh, yeah, we right. Wish. We all wish. That's we all wish email. that girl would come back, but because she trained yeah. what you, Caitlin, 
or she, she trained uh, your yeah, pitcher. Yeah, we'll say she trained me. <laughs> sure. Caitlin's uh, still untrained. You have She's, to understand that. I mean, by train, I mean we're, you sit there and you take everything in like a sponge, but no. Because who was your backup anyone. pitcher? She came in studio. Uh, uh, Nikki Ta- Nimitz. <clears throat> no, it was Taryn Mowat, who oh, yeah. no longer with the Bandits. Oh. But she was early in the season. S- someone yep. took her? <laughs> Not exactly. Okay, we won't go there. <laughs> moving right, <laughs> moving right, right along. She was our favorite faucet. Yep. Oh, okay. So, Elliot's been pushing for lingerie softball. Yeah. Is that, that going to happen we or is that just that. in his dreams? Yeah, it's in the works, in his dreams. <laughs> <laughs> because they got lingerie basketball now, you've got lingerie on the, football. On the West Coast, they have lingerie basketball. Lingerie football, that does not sound appealing. You'll have to, you'll have to men? show. Is it men? No, it's women. Women, women, men? women, women, women. <laughs> Elliot in the uh, no, Speedo? No, no, not, <laughs> not going to happen, folks. I hate to break the news to everybody. Oh, man, that's funny. But no, I mean, I don't get any of this stuff, what's going on, but it's crazy. But the lingerie football is actually drawing big crowds, aren't they, Elliot? So-so crowds. It depends on your definition of a big crowd. But they actually play football. It's not powder puff football. Right. So you guys would actually be playing baseball. Mm. It's an interesting they, concept. They, We're yeah. trying to get as many fans as yeah. possible without driving some away. Oh, okay. I'm thinking we might <laughs> lose a lot of fans. Yeah. If yeah. we throw that out there. Yeah, how do you bring the kids to that? You go to a Bandits game, you see a lot, a lot of families, a lot of young girls. Uh, We're trying to family appeal, appeal more, though, to the male side. I think our league's good for that. I think there's a lot of beautiful women that are very talented at what they do, and I think men should come out and watch you. I think yeah. they would enjoy it. Yeah, I mean, the athletic level of these young women is really incredible. They they make plays that are comparable to what you would see in a big league baseball game. Better than we do. Well, that's not <laughs> that's, 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 that's not setting yeah, the bar too high. <laughs> yeah, yeah they, they can walk and chew gum at the same time. They can run and chew gum. They can run, chew gum, make get to base to a ball on the ground, throw out a runner. Did any of you get to hit against Zambrano or pitch to Zambrano before the game? Mm-hmm. That was just Monica. Just Monica. Mm-hmm. It's not really, it's really safe funny. for um, for Zambrano or for you guys for any of us to ever pitch to anyone. Yeah. <laughs> no, just Monica threw to him, and it was awesome. It was awesome. They he were swung and missed a solid twenty times, I'd say. Yeah, it was fun for everyone. A lot of changeups. Then one of his teammates came in and first pitch touched the ball off Monty, so he was like, "Give me the bat back." He wanted to try it again. So it he could hilarious. not touch her. No, Mm-mm. Mm-mm. it was so funny. So he must have been really peeled because he. Th- thinks of himself as an all-around athlete. Yeah, he wasn't very happy. He was happy. pretty frustrated. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then when he saw the other guy touch the ball, he was he picked up his helmet right away <laughs> and started back in the there. box. But most guys don't have much of a chance going up against a softball mm-hmm. pitcher who can throw the rise ball, mm-hmm. which baseball players never see. Exactly. You know, it's one of those phenomenons of softball. Here's a pitch, and next thing you know, instead of going down, it's going up, and you're swinging and missing for the most part. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So how do you guys adjust to that? You're kind of taught that you mm-hmm. always, you growing up, you have to face it. So the swing's a little bit different, but really, if we were um, knew how to hit rise balls and lay off them, we'd be a lot better at <laughs> softball, too. Yeah. <laughs> Fact. It's still a secret. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to figure that part out, too. Yeah. <laughs> and you could steal bases in softball, right? Mm-hmm. In the women's game? Mm-hmm. So who is the fastest person in the league? I would Natasha say Natasha Watley. Watley. She had the most stolen bases. Of the pride. Yeah. How many did mm-hmm. she have? 16? 16, I think, yeah. And then she had a couple, couple in, in, in playoffs, yeah. yeah. But it's not She's that quick. easy. No, I've... It's, it's not like yeah. you can take a lead or... You have to wait for the ball to, to be released, released from the To leave the hand. pitcher's hand. Yeah, it's tough. In 60 mm-hmm. feet, yeah. So. So next year, are you guys all going to be back with the Bandits? That's the plan. Hope so to, yeah. Hopefully, yeah. Wearing the throwback uniforms every game? Every game? That would defeat the purpose of throwback. <laughs> I like those. I actually like those uniforms. Yeah, no, they were really. I, that'd be cool to have a throwback day. Or every Sunday every have day. throwback, throwback. Yeah. kind of like the major leagues have a special Sunday uniform. You like the cool. original oranges? That's what you're saying. I like the original oranges. Okay. Okay. The pumpkins. So our new oranges were real, real nice. Yeah. Which is the ones you wore for the Zambrano game? Were those the new oranges? Yeah. 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 Okay, then I like the new oranges. Yeah, yeah those the are Tennessee nice. colors. The tennis. Orange and white. Our uniforms yeah. are awesome. And they did. We did a breast cancer game. We did a Coast Guard game. Mm-hmm. We did a great. League of Their Own game. We had a bunch of We were of in dresses this year. You guys we were in dresses. Out. I saw that. As long as you don't wear uh, masks like Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rosie's oh. in Chicago. Come yeah. on, Rosie. Yeah, we wanted to come we to the game. I want to, I want to send her back. Be nice. Come on. Okay, don't be nice. Yeah, we don't want to fight <laughs> we, in here. 
So for each of you, what was the one play that was the highlight of the season? Tammy? The one play Goalers I would walk off. say. Yeah, yeah, there were a few. Goalers walk off against the Pride to win the first game of the last home series. That moment was just incredible. It was a come from behind win. I mean, our team fought and just so much fun. Yeah. Or what, like How about personally? Personally. Oh. I liked your bomb off background. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably that was good. First the first pitch, first first time I hit a home run this summer was against Akron. And um, it was actually on a change up. So and it's awesome. The pictures, everyone's going crazy. It was I was leading off, so kind of the way to start the weekend, start the series. Just get it going. You know what you need for winning the championship, the jewelry. Is your owner going to buy you the diamond uh, yep. championship yep. rings? We get it. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Do you guys are they designing it right now, or you know what you want, or you get to pick? We actually mm-hmm. don't know. We yeah. don't know yet. We just know it's coming. That's yeah. all that matters. So you're not going to I'm Cartier, bringing them to Cartier, and say, "Here, this is what we want. Let's design it here." I think right now we're just excited about winning. I like my left hand <laughs> to hang lower. I'm down still caught right up on because that because of it. Yeah. You need a Blackhawk ring. I saw. I was mm-hmm. with uh, Tony Esposito, the former Blackhawk. He had this ring. It looked like a paperweight. So how do you wear this thing? I don't think we'd want that kind. Yeah, no. I mean, we're very <laughs> comparable to the Blackhawks, obviously. Yeah. No know? question. I think, I th- and I think the owner, Bill Sokolis, is going through gumball machines trying to get the rings out of those machines <laughs> and get enough of them to present to the, to the women. I want you to talk to my oh, wife. Man. I thought every woman wants a big diamond ring. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course. <laughs> Can we make it into a stone, a giant stone? <laughs> right? <laughs> Just give me one. It's fine. Just, yeah. We're getting a signal to ramp it up from our producer. He's afraid where we're going with this. But again, you're listening to Sports and Torts here. Are we no. going to thank Tammy Williams, Let's Amber Patton, and Caitlin Lever? Very good. Good adjustment. It's all about adjustment. Good. Or not. I think we should thank them. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> thank you guys you're for having welcome. us. Thank you. Thank yes, you. Thank Congratulations you. for a great season of bringing softball championship here to Chicago. It's thank not you. baseball, it's softball. There you very, go. Very good. We're both learning. I'm getting well rounded. I'm already <laughs> rounded. <laughs> you're listening to Sports and Torts here on TalkZone.com. <laughs>